I'm Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy, and I wanted to shoot a quick video about cross-polarization loss with linear antennas. It seems that FPV has seen a resurgence in interest of linearly polarized antennas. The main reason for this is, well, they're smaller, lighter, and cheaper. However, there are several problems with linear antennas that need to be mitigated, and they're not necessarily easy. The first one is, of course, multipath interference. But another thing that's not well understood is cross-polarization loss. So I've got my vector network analyzer here set in vector voltmeter mode to show you what that looks like. So right now what I have is a linearly polarized biquad transmitting to a linearly polarized HD dipole. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to zero this. So that means that this transmission is now normalized to zero. But watch what happens if I turn my antenna just 45 degrees. Now we have a 3 dB loss. 3 dB is one half power. So just by rotating the receiver antenna 45 degrees, or consequently the transmitter antenna 45 degrees, I've already cut my power in half. But if I turn it another 45 degrees, it gets even worse. Now I'm looking at 21 dB of loss. That's 2 to the 7th power, or 1 128th of the amount of signal is being received by that antenna. And that's just by rotating that antenna. So when you use linear antennas, you have to be certain that both antennas are vertical, both the transmitter and the receiver. So when you use a linear antenna on your goggles, be sure it's oriented properly. But a lot of people ask, well, what about the loss of circular polarization? So here what I have is an ion antenna. And you might ask, Alex, why would you choose an ion antenna? Well, that's because the internals of this ion antenna are the same as this HD dipole. In fact, the only difference is that this ion has a set of circularly polarized elements that turn the signal circular, but the internals are still the same. So let's see what we get now. Now we're getting about minus 4 to minus 5 dB. And that's really not all that bad. I mean. It's about a quarter power, but compared to one less than one one hundredth power, that's not bad at all. So in the aircraft banks or turns, we're not seeing nearly as much loss. But what happens if I rotate it all the way back to where I had it before? Still more loss than with the linear antenna, but not bad at all. I'm catching some reflections off my body here, but we're looking at about one and a half to two dB. Technically, it's supposed to be three dB, but that three dB is not always realized. Come back here, 45 degrees, and we're at about the same signal strength, 45 degrees, whether linear or circular. But go to 90, and you can see the circular does much, much better. So that is cross-polarization loss with linear antennas and circular antennas. With circular, there is no cross-polarization loss. There's just a little bit of distortion of the radiation plot, which is what's really showing the difference in signal strength. But with a linear, you could see a huge reduction in signal. So if running linear, make sure they're both vertical. I might be crazy, and keep flying.